Day Tripper starts off on a low open E. Um, the first few notes are as follows. Open E string. Second finger, use the right finger, second finger on the third fret. Third finger on the fourth fret of the low E. Then you're going to come here, you're going to bar the second fret A string and D string together, and you're going to hit them one at a time. Then you're going to hit the open D string. Okay? Pick it the way you're most comfortable. That's how I do it, and it works great for me. Next part of the song. Same thing. Oh my gosh, we finished. That's all you do. The same thing, except for you go on the A string. So instead of starting with the low E string, A string. As far as structure goes, how many times you each you do each of those? It's on your papers. Okay, so follow that. Listen to the song. Play along to the song once you get that riff down. The chorus is pretty simple. It's a bunch of bar chords. So if you don't know bar chords, baby, get ready for pain and pleasure at the same time because they're fun. Starts off on this F sharp major chord. And it's just a bunch of down strums. It's like that punk rock. Okay, a bunch of eighth notes for a bunch of measures. Follow along on your paper and you can tell how many measures it is. Here's the chorus. So the bridge, same idea, same concept as the intro, same rhythm, um, except for we just changed starting with this B note. And the fingering is probably the most important, that's why we're going to go over it real fast. So what I do is I start with my second finger on the second fret of the A string. Then I hit open D string. Then first finger on the first fret of the D. Then I hop up here with my third finger on the fourth fret of the D. Then I'm going to just, just take this third finger and collapse it kind of down here to the fourth fret of the G string. Then jump down here to first first finger on the second fret of the G string. Then back to the fourth fret of the D. Then hop up here, skip a string, first finger on the second fret of the B. Then back, hop back down, then and that ba ba is first finger, second fret of the G string, then third finger, fourth fret of the G string. Slow motion, guys, check it out. So you have all the pieces now. Remember, go slow, chip away at it, master a part slowly, and then speed it up, and then go to the next part. Pick a picking pattern that works for you best, and the chords are probably the easiest part if you know power, if you know bar chords. If you haven't done them that much, this is a great, great chance for you to practice them. Don't give up on them. Chip away at them. Your fingers need to build strength with these bar chords. Okay, you're not used to using some of the muscles in your hands that you use with these bar chords. Okay, have fun.